We got six fish going right now. It's getting toward the end of the day. We're on a day and a half trip, so that means we fish till dark. We still got about over an hour to go, and we just got another rebite. And this bite, if it, Skipper thinks toward the end of the day we're gonna have a really good bite, so if that happens, probably gonna get limits. Everyone's, you know, pretty close to limits right now. Probably one or two fish around away from limits. So if we can get another 18 more fish, 20 more fish, probably have limits for everybody. So it's the same thing, fishing uh, 30 pound test line with uh, 30 pound uh, fluorocarbon on there. And I'm pretty sure I have a circle hook on this time. So I'm just lifting up, winding down. When the fish wants to swim towards a boat, you want to get as much line as you can. And you'll notice from time to time, you'll see the rods just bent straight up and down. The guys are fighting the fish. That's when the fish has its most power and control. When the fish starts to get tired, you'll notice that the line's going to go up toward the surface. And as the line goes up to the surface, the fish is doing that because it's a lot easier for them to swim up that way. And it's easier to, uh, for them to fight against you. So when the fish does that, you know you're beating them up. Here he comes. Try not to take out the window. Yeah. Boy, that's gonna be minus one. <laughs> School is minus one of its members. <laughs> There's another bluefin tuna. I only need one more for my limit. Beautiful fish fishing on board the clips today. And one thing I want to tell you about this fish, this is one of those fish, a bluefin. When you have your bait, bait soaked out there for a long time like we're doing today, and you're getting ready to change your bait, don't wind it in really quick. Take your time, wind it back slow. That's what I did on this fish. I was winding it back slow, not too fast. <laughs> and I got hit really hard, and I threw it in free spool, and the fish came and swallowed it, and that's how I got this fish. You just can't give up on them. And you're using a circle hook, and that's where that hook's right there in the corner of the jaw, which is perfect. That's where you want to hook them, just like that. These fish have a lot of teeth, so getting them in the corner of the jaw really helps a lot. Nice guy, man, thanks. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action here aboard the Eclipse, which we're having a great time aboard. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week.